Okay, hello, welcome to Epiphany Hobbies. Um, today we are doing an unboxing of the cans of, I want to call it Tarkia. Uh, this is the new Magic the Gathering set. I've already cut the plastic off just to speed things up. Not that it's obviously going to speed things up because it's going to take me half an hour to open the box. So we've got a full display to do today. So, like usual, I'll show you all the cards for the first Sony booster packs, and then after that, I'll just skim straight through to sort of the rares and uh, see what I get. Because nobody wants to see the same common 20 times. Okay, so we've got. Efreet Weapon Master Barrage of Boulders Savage Punch Molting Snakeskin Mardu War War Shrieker Scout the Borders Thornwood Falls Scold King Salt Road Patrol Cancel, Stubborn Denial, Roar of Challenge, Murderous Cut, and our rare is Ghost Fireblade. Oh, nice little different token, not seen that one before. Okay, we've got Shambling Attendants, Long Shot Squad, Bring Low, Rotting Mastodon, Valley Dasher, Throttle, Wetland Sambar, Alabaster Kirin, Weave Fate, Siegecraft, Dazzling Ramparts, War Name Aspirant, Ruthless Ripper, and our rare in this one is the High Sentinels of Arishin. Okay, we've got the Kintree Warden. The Mardu Banner, the Disowned Ancestor, the Swift Kick, Woolly Loxodon, Bitter Revelation, Treasure Cruise, Scoured, Scored, Scoured Barons, Whirlwind Adept, Defiant Strike, Dragon Grip, Suspension Field, Warden of Eye, Warden of the Eye, and our rare is Crackling Doom. Lots of uh, nice looking tokens as well in this one. I know for the tokens, some people like to just put the dice on, but I prefer to actually use the token cards. Okay, we've got the Wally Loxodon again. Abomination of Gudul. Canyon Lakers. Mardu Skull Hunter. Tust Colossodon. Dutiful Return. Monastery Flock. Kill Shot. Glacial Stalker. Become Immense. Winter Flame. Opulent Palace and our rare yeah, rare is Retribution of the Ancients and then I've got a Foil Land and a Normal Land 
open. <laughs> that goblin, that's pretty cool. I say the tokens in this set <laughs> look quite fun. Okay, we have got the Just Guy banner, the Sultay Scavenger, Blossoming Sands, Bloodfire Mentor, Dragon Scale Boon, Sidisi's Pet, Mardu Horde Chief, Lens of Clarity, Whirlwind Adept, Siegecraft, Mistfire Weaver, Tima Charm, Mardu Charm, and our rare is Mind Swipe. We've got the Hooting Mandrills. It's quite a lot like monkeys in this set by the looks of it. F3 Weapon Master. Mardu War Shrieker. Awaken the Bear, Shambling Attendants, Alpine Grizzly, Glacial Stalker, Thornwood Falls, War Bahamoth, Set Adrift, Opulent Palace, a Team of Charm, and our rare is the Meandering Tower Shell, basically a giant turtle. Oh, and then we've got a Foil Witness of the Ages. Okay, we've got a Nook Tracker. Just Sky Banner. Uh, Smoke Teller, Mardu Banner, Right of the Serpent, Shatter, Mardu Hate Blade, Cancel, Rush of Battle, Scored Barons, Take Up Arms, Blinding Spray, Despise, and our rare is Trap Essence. Okay, we've got Valley Dasher, Highland Game, Disowned Ancestor, Act of Treason. Mardu Skull Hunter, Savage Punch, Treasure Cruise, Swift Water Cliffs, Cliffs, it's like uh, Jewel Land, Wetland Sandbar, Rush of Battle, Horde Ambusher, Seek the Horizon, Mer Egg Nightblade, and our rare is a Seed Rhino. We've got a Teamer Banner, a Tormenting Voice, Throttle, Archer's Parapet, a Snowhorn Rider, Act of Treason, Windscarred Crag, Bloodfell Caves, Enoch Bondkin, Singing Bell Strike, Abzan Faulkner, Hordling Outburst, Dead Drop, and our rare is the Avalanche Tusker. Ok, 
here we've got Abzan Banner, Snowhorn Rider, Bring Low, Rotting Mastodon, Alpine Grizzly, Jeski Wind Scout, Defiant Strike, Embodiment of Spring, Erase, Horde Ambusher, Mardu Charm, Secret Plans, Rakshasa Death Dealer is our rare. Pretty nice looking one. And then we've got an uncommon foil, which is a venerable Lamasu. Which I'm probably going to get slated for saying this, but it looks like a flying goat. Okay, what I'll start doing now is uh, just skip it onto the bed. I will flick through in front of the camera so if you use a pause button you can actually still see uh, what I'm pulling. Grim Haruspex is a creature human wizard rare. even bit the part of the video that people enjoy where I've shut up. And the rare is the Powell of the Horde. I've not had a single mythic yet. Is the Savage Knuckle Blade? Thousand Winds, Elemental Creature, and then we've got a Foil Common, which is Kill Shot. This one is Butcher of the Horde, Creature Demon. Dragon style twins, creature human monk. This one's Blood Soak Champion. Which looks quite nice. And we've also got a foil rare of Sage of the Inward Eye. So yeah, two rares in that one. One foil, one not. So that's a nice little pack. 
again, we're, uh, what are we in now? 15 packs in. And no mythic. Here's our first mythic. Empty the pits. Basically, this allows you to get a shed load of zombies out. the Butcher of the Horde again. Got two of that chap. Hooded Hydra. Oh, we've got a common foil Alpine Grizzly. So we're doing pretty well for foils out of this set actually. Uh, so we've got two mythics and quite a lot of foils. So our rare is Icy Blast. And then we've also got a rare foil dig through time. Ascendancy, that's our rare uh, enchantment. Let's see, we get. I'm actually fancy making myself a, uh, a zombie deck. That could be quite fun. And I'm also going to try a sliver deck. Uh, anybody watching my channel, I am pretty new to the game. Uh, basically what you've seen me unbox is what I've got. Uh, I didn't play previously, that is literally me starting out. Um, Mythic again, like look at this one, the Ash Cloud Phoenix. Relatively cheap to get into play. Uh, when it dies return it to the battlefield face down. the Keru Lich Lord, Creatures Zombie Wizard, which goes kind of nice, seeing I was just uh, on about building myself a zombie deck. There's quite a lot of nice little zombies have been uh, in this set so far that I've seen. Um, obviously I'll have a better look once I've finished this video I've walked through. Uh, what I'll also do is get all the, the rares and the mythics out and just do a quick overview of the end for you. Ok, 
Okay, around this one is Master of Pearls, Creature Human Monk. This morph thing seems to be the new the new thing for this. You may cast this card face down as a 2 2 creature for 3, turn it face up any time for its morph cost. Okay. Oh wait, when Master of Pearls is turned face up, creatures you control get 2-2 two, two until end of turn. Alright. Ah, oh, so you can either just play him, you can play him for his value at the top, and then you just get a 2-2 two, two guy. Or you pay him for 3, you know, he counts as a 2-2 two, two face down, and then when you play the the 5 mana cost to flip him back, then that's when you get the sort of buff for all your others. Oh, that's quite interesting. Is a ankle shanker creature goblin berserker. It's pretty nice actually. Crackling Doom, which I think we've already had one of, and then I've got a Foil Uncommon Winter Flame. Ancient creature Leviathan. So it's got Flash, Pearl Lake Ancient can't be countered. Prowess, whenever you cast a non creature spell, this creature gets plus one plus one till end of turn. Then we've got Return uh, three lands you control to their owner's hand, return Pearl Lake Ancient to its owner's hand. Quite nice. And we've got a Foil Land. Fend to the foremost. Legendary creature, human soldier. Uh, whenever an offense of the foremost attacks, put one one counter on another target tapped creature you control. If a creature card would be put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. Dragon Throne of Tarkia, Legendary Artifact Equipment. We're down to the last six packs now. Just realised, didn't show you any of the artwork whatsoever 
from any of the packs, they are quite nice looking. You've got uh, Teamer Ascendancy Enchantment. Yeah, if you've got any sort of fun deck ideas, um, anything like that, uh, just pop it in the comments uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go. I've got quite a lot of cards now, as you've probably seen from my unboxing videos. Um, I am going to be doing some gameplay videos hopefully, I'm just trying to get things set up, get some game mats and stuff so it looks quite nice. But yeah, there'll be, uh, be some game videos, um, so if you've got any deck ideas to try out and stuff I'll try them out and by all means I'll, I'll try and video it as well. So I've got Absent Ascendancy. It's quite a nice one actually, quite like that. Okay, we have got Bloodstained Mire, so it's a rare land. Uh, you tap it, pay one life, sacrifice Bloodstained Mire, search your library for a Swamp or Mountain card and put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Not a massive fan of that, but I'm sure somebody will point out some great synergy or something. Okay, so our rare is Retribution of the Ancients, so it's an enchantment. Doesn't seem too bad. Okay, last two packs. Okay, we have got a Creature the Djinn Wizard, Sage of the Inward Eye. Flying, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, creatures you control gain life, think until end of turn. And I've got a Foil Land. It's got a lot of Foil Lands today. Okay, last and final pack. Let's see what we get. Ooh, this is nice to finish on. A Mythic Planeswalker, Sorin Solemn Visitor. So yeah, it's a pretty nice ending there. And oh, I think we've got a Foil Common City Seas Zombie Ape Pet. So yes, definitely happy with that last final pack. Uh, right, I'll quick lay out the rares and the mythics and give you a quick overview of what I've pulled. So I'll back in a second. Okay, first up, these are the foils that I got. Uh, unfortunately, it never shows up very well on the camera, but you can just see the ones that I got. Um, this does include some of my rares, because uh, obviously some are foils. So let's give you a look of all the different foils I got. So there's a couple of rares in there, quite a few commons, some lands, etc. And then over next is going to be the first half of the rares that I got. So 
So these are the first half of the rares, all the different colours. And then the colourless on the end. Okay, and here we have the multicoloured rares that I got. Up to them all. In case you want to actually pause the video and read any of these. So that's them. And then the Mythics. So I'm pretty happy with these. Probably gonna give that zombie one a go. Uh, try it out in a deck. Not sure about the planeswalk guy. I do quite like him, so might be tempted to try that out as well. So that's been uh, Epiphany Hobbies. Thank you for tuning in. There will be more videos on the way. I'll keep doing all the new releases and hopefully start putting out some uh, some of the new content to do with Magic as well. Okay, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, see you next time.